Well, hello, Coffee Treasure family. Oh, my cat's in here. Well, I am late. I'm sorry. I should have set this up for 10 o'clock. But normally I would be at church. But it was 20 degrees, real feel 8 when I got up. And um, we have a Down syndrome child. And he is a very susceptible to getting eczema from being out in the cold. So I chose to stay home with him today and send my husband to church to be with, I mean, yeah, to church to be with our church family. So I told you I wouldn't be here, but here I am. You know, I think that God has a sense of humor because we plan, and I think he laughs. That's actually a scripture somewhere in the Bible, that man makes plans and God laughs. And my bangs are so crooked. I'm sorry, but I can see. I could not see yesterday when I got out of the bathtub, and I go, wow, something's got to happen. And it really did happen. <laughs> It is so crooked, but that's okay. I gave up my haircut for my son on Saturday, and so this is what you get. It's all good. All right, well, I hope that you are having an awesome morning, and I really hope that most of you are at church with your church family, and maybe you can catch up on this later, but I am going to try to do this every day, and yesterday, uploading to YouTube took me most of the day. It was more like afternoon coffee instead of morning coffee. So I changed the settings on my camera and um, I've noticed that there's not as much lag. So maybe that was the problem. But let's begin in prayer. God, we just come to you and we're so excited, God, to be with you, to learn more about your word to learn more about Jesus and that Jesus is always with us and to share a very precious book to me that I just want to read over and over and over until you send Jesus to get us. God, I just pray for anyone here, God, that they would feel your joy today and that they would feel your presence, even if they're sad, God, that them listening to Jesus pour these words over their heart, God, that they will take them in. God, I just thank you for the privilege of sharing your truths and sharing the gospel of Jesus. And I just pray that you would bless us with a good day today. It's cold here where I live. Probably hot where some people live. But God, you're always with us no matter what the temperature is. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright. If any of you watch my ATM Pray and Share at night, I do a different format. I wanted to do something different on this. I wanted it to be shorter, and I wanted it to be more intimate with feedback. So if you come on here, please put your name, because what I get on Facebook is a tiny little picture that I can't see who it is. Some I know because I've seen them before. They're my Facebook friends and I know what their little uh, picture looks like. But people that I don't know, please put your name in. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe either YouTube or to Facebook. And again, I want to give one of these away. I haven't checked my email yet. I will order more if I have to, but I want to give one of these away to my coffee treasure family, and I will put my email address in, but please leave something in the comments. Um, if you are touched by what Sarah Young has written, this is not what I wrote. This is Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I love this book. This is my daily devotional that I use every day. And like I said, what I read on December the 31st, I have already forgotten what I read last January, so I just plan to read this. And yes, I have jewelry on today. I forgot. I forgot that I don't wear jewelry in the mornings. So, also, I wanted to share with you 
today kicks off. This is Passion 2019. Today kicks off, and if you saw my jammies, no, they don't match my shirt. But today kicks off Passion 2022 in Atlanta, Georgia. And I am there in spirit. I am not there, but in 2019, I served as a door holder, and it was such an awesome, awesome experience. I love my Passion family. So I'm watching online today, and I thought I would wear my door holder t-shirt. I've already like talked to some of my old team, one of my old team members that's still on the group me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it was an awesome experience. If you get the experience, if you get the opportunity to serve as a door holder, like we're too old, we're not college age. I can't, I can't go up there and go, hey, I'm in college, because you know, like I'm not college age or high school age. But you can serve, you can volunteer, and it is such an awesome, awesome experience. They take care of you. They care about you. We pray. We pray for the students. We, like, fed 6,400 students in Grand Prairie. I served in Grand Prairie, but they don't come to Texas anymore. Maybe they'll come back to Texas and I can serve again, but bittersweet. I tried to go in 2020 and serve, but I got sick and God kept telling me, I am protecting you. So he protected me from something, maybe the beginning of COVID. I don't know. But anyway, it was before COVID hit. All right, well, let's get on with this. I just want to, during this coffee time, it's more of an intimate time, I want to share some of my experiences with you. I want to share the good things that God has done. That was one of my words last year. This year it is confidence, like my confidence is in God, thankful, and blessed. I want to bless more people. I want to give things away. I want to make jewelry to give away. I made this, I made my earrings, I made my necklace. I usually like do a cross off my necklace, but I didn't do it today. Anyway, I am going to make more jewelry. I'm going to make, I've noticed on YouTube that my lyric videos are really more popular than my videos of me getting on here. So I'm going to make some more of those too. But today, today is January the 2nd. I feel a little bit guilty not being at church. But I think God has a message for me. I'm going to watch it online. But he already shared some messages with me about Passion 22 that I watched. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish watching when I get through here. Okay, well maybe I should have started at 10 because we are 8 minutes in. And I haven't even started. I am your joy. These four words can light up your life. Yes. Remember, Jesus is your joy. Since I am always with you, the joy of my presence is continually accessible to you. You can open up to my presence through your trust in me, your love for me. Try saying, Jesus, you are my joy. My light will shine upon you and within you as you rejoice in me, your Savior. Ponder all I have done for you and all that I am to you. This will lift you up above your circumstances. When you become my follower, I empowered you to rise above the conditions in your life. I filled you with my spirit and this holy helper has limitless power. I promise that I will come back and take you to be with me in heaven, that you may be where I am forever. Whenever your world is looking dark, and wow, things are really looking dark, but Jesus is our joy. Remember that Jesus is our joy. Brighten your perspective by focusing on me. Relax in my presence and hear me saying, Beloved, I am your joy. Wow, I love this book. This book is always, Jesus always, is always what I need. Okay? And I want to send one to somebody. 
somebody better be the first one to email me and they will get a book. I will email them back, get their address, and I will get it in the mail. Alright, because I just thought of something that's great. So I can go to the post office one time and figure out how much it weighs to send a book. And I don't ever have to go again. I used to do that when I worked at The Promise. We used to send out DVDs. Once they weighed it, we could figure out how much in stamps. Put it on there and send it out. It was pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see what our scriptures are today. I hope you brought your Bible. And I hope you brought your coffee. Mine's getting cold again. I, well, my bracelet keeps jumping off of there. I don't know what is up with that. Maybe God wants me to share this with someone. So I'm going to do John 3.16 in a minute. I may do John 3.16 through 21 because it is my favorite part of John 3.16 because it talks about condemnation because I think a lot of times people think that they're not going to be condemned for their sin but they are okay um, not by other Christians but by God because he's righteous he has a standard for our lives okay Psalm 21 6 so if you came here for a feel-good message um, know that you're going to get God's truth all the time. Because I'm going to go where the Holy Spirit, Jesus talked about the Holy Spirit, I'm going to go where the Holy Spirit is directing me. And this is the second time that this has jumped off. Like literally jumped off of this candle that it's sitting on. Maybe I'm hitting the desk, I don't know. But that's telling me what I need to do. Okay, so Psalm 21 6 says this for you have made him most blessed forever you have made him exceedingly glad with your presence for the king trusts in the Lord and the and through the the mercy of the most high he shall not be moved and sometimes I read more because sometimes I think that's not enough for me but this is a psalm of uh, King David. So he's talking about, I'm doing a series on psalms at night. I'm going to do it three nights a week, and then two nights I'm just going to wing it and go wherever the Holy Spirit takes me. But we are on Psalms 76 and 77. I think I'm going to do it mid-afternoon because I'm going to watch Passion 2022 tonight. I'm going to stream it. I may just stream it from my computer. I actually have a little screen thing that makes my phone bigger. I may do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, John 14.3 14 3 and if I go and prepare a place for you okay I'm gonna I'm gonna read this whole John 1 through I'm feeling like I need to read more John 1 through 6 let not your heart be troubled John 14 1 through 6 sorry John 14 1 through 6 let not your heart be troubled. Oh, hey, Ashton. How are you? <laughs> hey, did you bring your coffee with you? Sorry. <laughs> My friend Ashton is here. Hey, you're supposed to bring coffee with you. I know you youth like coffee. <laughs> you can bring your Coke or your caffeine. Good morning. I feel guilty missing church, but it's really cold out there. I didn't want to drag Seth out today. All right, so John 14, 1 through 6, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. 
in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know the way. You, and where, sorry, and where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except <laughs> through me. My friend Ashton is making his coffee now. That's great, Ashton. You didn't want to get out in the cold today either. <laughs> I am not. I am not a cold weather person. I do not like it. And Seth and I were coughing a little bit this morning, and I didn't want to freak people out and make them think that I had COVID or a cold. <laughs> Okay, well, we have one more verse. <laughs> no, Ashton didn't want to be out either. Yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, Philippians 4.4 4 is our last verse in this devotional. Philippians 4.4. 4. I think I'm going to have to start wearing reading glasses before long. Or get me one of those big print Bibles. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay, that's Philippians 4, 4 through uh, 7. Like I said, I always read more because I start reading and then I go, oh wow, that's good too. Because it's all good. Because all of God's word is good. And it is awesome, and it's what we need so we can live our lives according to His standards and His truths. Because when we leave here, we're going to be judged according to God's truths, not according to what somebody thinks their truth is. Because God's Word is the standard. So that's what we will be judged against, is what God says is right. Okay, I was going to read John three sixteen through 21 also. Do y'all go back to school tomorrow, Ashton? I don't think I'm going to start school back until the 10th. I need another week. Okay. Well, let's read John 3.16 through 21. Because like I said, this is my bracelet. My John 3.16 bracelet. This is kind of my ministry verse. I really like John 3.16. Because um, Jesus came and died for all of us. Like the whole entire world. That just... Oh, y'all go back on Tuesday? 
maybe uh, I don't think I think it's gonna warm up by then so maybe y'all won't have to face such cold weather because it's gonna be cold for two days um, anyway God died for everyone so there are <clears throat> like everyone in the world and there are seven billion plus really closer to eight billion at this time in the whole entire world and there is not one person in this whole entire world that Jesus did not come to die for to offer salvation it would be awesome if the whole entire world were going to go back with Jesus when he comes to get us we just read that if he goes he will come back to get us so um, this is what John 3 16 through 21 says because it talks about condemnation and it talks about people that have not received Jesus are condemned already so now like right now right this second if you're not saved please call upon Jesus and be saved. Now my friend Ashton, he is saved. And he has been baptized too. Um, so he's on the right track. But he's a teenager too. Or a preteen. I don't know which. But anyway, he's he's gone. He's, he's left. He's left the building. I think. Anyway, it was great for him to come by. Maybe he went to get his coffee. Alright, so... John 3:16 through 21 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Now that's an important point too that God did not send Jesus to condemn. You notice in the Gospels that Jesus was very humble. And Jesus hung out with the sinners because he knew that they were the ones that needed salvation. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. So what that's saying, if you believe in Jesus, if Jesus is your Savior, then you don't live in condemnation. You know that you can go to Jesus even when you mess up, and you can ask for forgiveness. Uh, but the ones that do not believe in Jesus, they are already condemned until they believe. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light. Now I see that going on a lot now. That people love darkness rather than light. I myself like light. I do not like darkness. I do not. I, the Holy Spirit that lives inside me will not let me listen to a movie that has bad words in it. I just, I can't do it. And I won't do it. And I absolutely will not let my son do it. Um, sometimes he likes to watch car crash videos. Well, I turn the sound down because a lot of times these car crash people have potty mouths. But anyway, I do not like darkness. I don't really like cold either. Um, because their deeds were evil, for everyone practicing evil hates the light. I see a lot of evil out there, and these people are not following God. They are not following Jesus. And I'm not judging them. God will judge them. And I'm not saying that they cannot come back to Jesus or come to Jesus, because that is between them and God. God knows our hearts. God knows our minds. He knows our thoughts. He knows what we do. You can't hide any sin from God. He knows. You are... Each one of us are an open book to God. So, for everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, 
we are children of the light. We are children of God, and we are um, kingdom children. I mean, there are people out there that I do not even know will never be, you know, will never come face to face with them like I do Ashton. I see Ashton nearly every Wednesday. There will be people that are in heaven that I never knew, but they are still part of my kingdom family, just like my passion family. I'm so excited to connect with them, to watch them online, to be a part of that, even though to pray about it, to pray for success, to pray that these students will open their hearts to Jesus and will go and share Jesus on their campuses. That's what Passion 22 is about. It is about making missionaries out of the college students that hear the word so they can go out and they can share with the lost. But he who does the truth comes to the light. We are children of the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. So we want to do our things. Everything that we do, we want to do to please God. You know, when we worship God, we want to worship with our heart. We want to be steadfast in worshiping with our heart. Not just giving Him lip service, because He deserves so much more than that. When we pray, we need to be focusing on what we're praying on, and I really struggle with that because my mind wanders when I pray, but I want to be more steadfast on my prayer, praying for others, praying for a Jesus movement that cannot be stopped in our country and across the world, that people will come to Jesus and be saved. So that's what John 3.16 and through 21 is all about. It is about the fact that Jesus came to save everyone in the world. There is no one that is not invited into God's kingdom. So if you feel led, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved. Let me do a really short salvation message. This is the ABCs of life. So if you want to be saved and you go, well, I don't know how to be saved. Well, it's not hard. I'm going to run through this with you. So God created you to experience a full life here on earth, John 10.10. 10, and he wants you to spend eternity with him, 2 Peter 3.9. To become a Christian, you simply need to, one, Admit you need a Savior. We all need a Savior. There is not one of us in this world that does not need Jesus as our Savior. We've all disobeyed God. We have sinned and earned separation from God, which is death. Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23 No matter how good you are or how hard you try, you can't work your way into heaven. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, it is a gift. It is a gift from God. 2, believe in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John three sixteen. We just read John three sixteen. Is that a coincidence? No, it's a God thing. Anything that lines up like that, that's a confirmation for me, spiritually, is a God thing. I know that this bracelet fell off of this candle twice because God wanted me to share that with someone. I don't know who. I may not ever meet who, but that's okay. Three, most important. Well, all three are important. Commit your life to Christ. You can believe in your mind that Jesus Christ exists, but have a relationship with him. But to have a relationship with him, you must ask him to be your Lord here on earth and your Savior eternally. Romans 10.9 says that if you confess with your mouth 
Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So this is the prayer. This is how we pray. It is a very short prayer. I got this at um, YEC one year. And it was the year that Second Chronicles 7.14 was the focus verse. Ashton might have gone. I don't know. He might have been too young. That was like 2018, I think. Okay, so this is the prayer. Jesus, I have sinned. Thank you for dying for me so I could be forgiven. Because Jesus died for us so we could be forgiven. I trust you alone for eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So if you prayed that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. I talk about kingdom family a lot. Well, like I said, there are people that I will never know. There are people that I opened the door for in 2019. And I greeted in 2019 because God had already prepared my heart for that job, and uh, I will never know them, but they are my kingdom family, and someday I'll know them. So let's pray. God, we just thank you for this time that we can open up your word. We thank you for Sarah Young that wrote this wonderful devotional that I'm able to share with people. God, I thank you for Ashton and for his steadfastness in his faith, God. I just pray that you would continue to lead God and direct him and that you would bless him and provide for him and protect him, God. That you would um, draw him closer to you this year, God. That he has professed to us that he wants to be a missionary, God. Just please keep that in his heart. He's such a precious kid. I love him and his brothers and his sister also um, I just pray that they would all work for your kingdom as adults God that you would bless them I pray for their family also God that you would guide and direct them this year too and God also anyone that comes here God I pray for your abundant blessings on them in 2022 I pray that there will be a back and forth dialogue with others. God, as I do this in the mornings in obedience to what you've called me to do, I pray, God, that you will help me to be more obedient, to have my confidence in you, to be more thankful and grateful for all the many things that you do for me and my family, God, and also that you would help me to see the areas that I can bless others because I want to be a blessing to others. And I just pray that you would bless us with a good day today. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, well, in the future, I would really like to keep this under 20 minutes. But as you can tell, I'm pretty much a chatty Kathy. And I do like to chat, I guess, to myself. But hopefully other people are watching this in the future. And maybe something that you heard come out of God's word will touch your heart. That is my prayer. My prayer also is to connect with some of my friends that are not working, that work like me. They have a more relaxed schedule. I hope to connect with them. And um, I pray that you have an awesome day. It's Sunday. I will be back on this afternoon sometime. I don't know when. I gotta find out when Eastern Standard Time is because that's when Passion 2022 starts. So I may be on here early today because I don't want to miss one second of it. I'm able to do it online on my phone and I'm very excited. Um, I can even stream that to my TV hopefully, or maybe not, I don't know, it depends on what they're using, but anyway, if you get the opportunity, go on YouTube and watch Passion 2022, 
and I will probably share it on my Facebook page which is Charm Bethel Trotter is my personal Facebook page and then my ministry page is Awesome Treasures 777 uh, and I will share it there too so that you can watch it too. Now I had to go on and sign up to watch it online. So you may only get to see bits and pieces unless you want to go to Passion 2022. Download the app on your phone, sign up online, and you can probably watch the whole thing because it's going to be amazing. You're going to hear great leaders. You're going to hear the best praise and worship by the Passion Band and other people that come also. It is how I enjoy starting my year. Okay, I promise tomorrow I will try my best to be here at 8 o'clock. I do like to stay on a schedule with our son, not time-wise, but routine-wise. And so I may be a little bit late from time to time. Please forgive me in advance. Um, much love. Have an awesome rest of your Sunday. Much love. In cyber hugs until this afternoon when I see you again. Uh, it is not night time. So hmm, i got to find another way. To close this out because I usually say good night because I do my other thing at night. Good day. Good day, mates. I'm not in Australia, but I do like the accent. So, bye.